News Talk, 95.1 FM, 790 AM. This is KFYO. Dave King, Matt Martin at your service this morning, 736 AM. And our chicken fry lady is here, Yep, as, as promised. Terry Stahl with the city of La Mesa and their Chicken Fried Steak Festival. Carrie, good morning. Uh, Terry, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all this <laughs> well, morning? You have to good. talk real close to that mic. Pull it right up there. There you go. Um, a Chicken Fried Steak Festival. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. But on, that would only be in Texas, wouldn't it? No, it would only, well, it would only be in Texas because they only cook really good chicken fried steak in Texas. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, you know, in my career in radio, years and years ago, I was working at another radio station. And uh, we had a we had this this girl from Louisiana, who was uh, she was our tra- what they call a traffic director. She wrote and she wrote radio commercials, and so I turned in some copy information about a restaurant that had a chicken fried steak, and she comes to me and she says, "Well, you know what is this chicken fried steak?" And she said, "Is it is it chicken or is it steak?" <laughs> And I said, you're not from it's here, are you? Steak fried <laughs> like fried chicken. Yeah, it's like a steak fried like a chicken. Anyway, uh, that's that's a Texas delicacy, isn't it? It is. And this is our eighth year to do the Chicken Fried Steak Festival. All from a fictitious story that Larry B. Saw wrote after he came through La Mesa after a Texas Tech ball game. Yeah. And then uh, I believe it was Sam McGuire that got hold of the story, thought it was true, so he published it in an article from the American Statesman called Talk of Town. So that's how this all got started. And then back in 2011, the governor deemed us the legendary home of the chicken fried steak. So does that essentially mean that uh, uh, La Misa was the first ones to create a chicken fried steak, according to the governor? Well, according to Larry Besaw with his fictitious story, it's oh. just that we're the legendary place of the chicken fried steak. There you go. Hey, legends round long enough, they'll be true. Well, that's what all Texas is known for is their tall tales. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, there's a whole lot of things taking place. So, so tell us about those. Okay, it's going to kick off on Friday, April the 27th. We're going to start the great chicken fried steak dinner from 530 to 830. It's going to be catered by, again by River Smith this year. And then uh, then uh, Bobby G. Gonzalez and the Galaxy Band will kick us off Friday night about 7.38. And then we're going to have David Lee Garcia and the Music Ollies come in, and they're going to play until midnight on Friday night. Also, Friday night at 6 o'clock, we'll, call, we'll kick off our second annual softball tournament. Uh, we have two categories, over 50 and under 50, and we've still got a couple of slots. If there's anyone that wants to put their softball team in that, they can contact us about that. Then Saturday morning, we're going to have the Hot Air Balloons kick off at sun- sunrise, as long as the weather permits and no wind. And then we'll kick off the Vendor Roots at 9 o'clock. We'll have a 5K run at 9 o'clock. Team roping starts at 10 o'clock, and then we'll start the competition for the Chicken Fried Steak cook-off at 10 and we have the classic car show that is sponsored by O'Reilly's this year. And there's then we have the Dawson County Library story time. There's something going on all day long. Hmm. And then Saturday night, uh, Jordan uh, Jordan Kirk from Crosby Town, or actually from Idaloo, will be playing from 8 o'clock until 11.30 hmm. at the county barn. We'll bring in the zoo back this year with all the – Animals, the zebras, the kangaroos, the camels. Uh, We'll have the bouncy castles, the pony rides, face painting, battle balls, bungee trampoline. So it's just something for the whole family. So just come out, enjoy yourself, bring everybody. Uh, The only thing that you won't be paying for is an admission fee or a parking fee. All this is free, except, of course, the vendors. And we will be having the wine tasting uh, Saturday from 4 to 7 with Mike Critchley uh, and Mark Walney. Now you have my attention. Yeah, it's, all the wine will be from Delady Vineyards, which is our local vineyard there in La Mesa. And all the proceeds this year will go to the La Mesa Fire and Rescue. Mm. So it's a full day Saturday, but lots of fun. Now, you, uh, we got a few giveaways to give away. What, what all we do? We brought we... you some koozies, some T-shirts, tickets to the dinner Friday night, and also some of our special tumblers that have our... Uh, Chicken in the balloon. Our Perkins is the name of our chicken, so Perkins is in the balloon. So we brought you some Yeti tumblers. Okay. No, oh, very good. Uh, those are very expensive and very nice. They are very nice. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, and uh, again, uh, when when does the dinner start? The dinner will start at 5.30 on Friday night, the 27th. And if they have any questions, they can reach me at 806-777-1171. Or they can go to our website, which is www.ci.lamisa.tx.us. Okay. so We'll give that out. Yeah, a couple uh, times. A couple more times this morning, so if people missed it. Uh, that's probably the best way to get the information that you want is on the website. Yes, we yeah. have the schedule and everything on our website. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So um, tell us once again the date and the time. It's this weekend, Friday it's, and Saturday. It's this weekend, Friday and Saturday, April the 27th and the 28th. And the kickoff dinner starts at 5 o'clock, 530, and we'll go till midnight on Friday night with all our events. And the vendors will be open. Now, you said that this is how many years you've been doing this? This is our eighth Eighth year. So d- does this event, is it drawing a lot of people from outside the area of La Mesa? Yes. <laughs> we have pilots that are coming from Branson, Missouri, Oklahoma, Florida. We, have, you know, Last year we had one that came from Australia. And then we have our vendors that come from New Mexico, Oklahoma, New York. Mm-hmm. That was a shocker. That was That's one of our new vendors. And one of the other new attractions that we have this year is a mechanical bull. So if you've always wanted to see if you'd be a good, good bull rider, this would be a chance to try that out. I already know I'm not going to. Oh, know, yeah, I sure want to do that. <laughs> I had a friend that uh, he was uh, not a, really a bull rider, but he wanted to get into it. And he was working on a ranch that uh, had uh, rodeo pro rodeo bulls the the big brahma bulls and so he decided to try it out on one of those and he ended up in the hospital so. well yeah <laughs> that's not good yeah so I, I, after that i'm like uh, i think i'll stay away from the bulls yeah mechanical and, or otherwise and you know one of the things that we like to emphasize that day is our chicken fried steak cook-off uh, it's not a bad deal if you'll come out first place is six hundred dollars plus a trophy so hey if you know how to make a good chicken fried steak right now is the time to prove it that's right well, so. very good, very good. Well, Terry, thanks so much for coming in and uh, telling us about that, and, and the best of luck uh, with your event this year. Well, thank you. We'll be back with more after this.